So I am, I'm always, late. I'm in line. I'm in line, and, uh, and then always say, I have to do an interview. And in doing uh, an interview, I asked the officer who's watching the line. I asked the officer, I said, well, can I leave the line to do an interview because it's noisy in the line? And he goes, no problem. And he says, stand over there. It's quieter. I said, thank you. And I walk over there. I do my interview. It's a station in, in uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, I come back to the line. He says, no problem. He offers me. I go back into the line. I stand there. Another officer is coming down the line uh, with these post-it notes. And literally, he skips Gail. Um, and then he gets to me and uh, um, Ann Wright. And then he skips us and says, you're not in line. And I goes, what do you mean? And then I, I look at the other officer, and I go, you know, tell him I was in line. And all the officers say, yes, he was in line, no big deal. I said, yeah, he's in line. He said, no, you're not getting in. I'm like, wow, whoa, what's wrong? I said, I've been waiting here. He goes, he says, you're not getting in. So then I walk up, as you see in the video, and I'm like, uh, just ask him, I want to get in. And the next thing I know, he's like, you're not getting in. So they were me and Ann Wright, and we're sitting there. He said, no, you two are not getting in. Um, and he was at the door, he said, shut it down. I mean, and Ann Wright is, was military. Yeah, yeah, Colonel Ann Wright. So here we are, these two, two officers. <laughs> two officers going to see General Petraeus, and we're not being let in, which in itself is amazing. Um, and so then somebody walks up to Ann and then gives her their post-it note. He says, all he did was pass out post-it notes. And then uh, she says, I have one of the post-it notes. And he goes, I didn't give you that. She said, no, this mouse gave it to me. And he goes, okay, go on in. So I'm like, whoa. I said, I'm with her. I said, why aren't you just letting me in? You're not getting in, and you're going to be arrested. I said, oh, I'm not going to be arrested. And by the time that happens, man, they leaped on me. And it was just terrible. I mean, it really felt, it was bad, because the first thing I actually would have thought about was obviously the pain, eventually. Um, I thought about what, what in the world was going on. And honestly, I just really felt that, you know, at that time, I think I was, I didn't see the whole line, but where I was, I was the only person of color in that line. And it just felt really bad. I mean, it felt for a person of color doing democracy, standing in line, being peaceful, being peaceful. It just felt really bad. I mean, it just felt really, really bad. I mean, so. I mean, I guess uh, I was in jail, and one of the guys said, uh, well, you got DWB. And I said, what, driving while black? No, he said, no, democracy while black. <laughs> and I said, oh, man. So I hope that they recognize that they're not helping our democracy by ha having this happen. Because it's not good for peace activists to feel fearful. It was for their lives. I mean, if I had gone down head first into that concrete, I wouldn't be here right now. So. That's it.